We are now preparing the money. Do we have security? Hey, it's Editing Virginia. If you hear a clicking sound, it's because Rumi's eating melon leaves and it makes that sound. So sorry. Hello, lay ho. My name is Virginia, Virginia Chen, and I'm with Humid with a Chance of Fish Bowls. Today, right now, it is Chinese New Year's Eve, and that means starting tomorrow, Chinese New Year's, we have to give out lucky money. And that is up until the 15th of the first lunar month. So you give it out for about two weeks or so. And let me tell you, when you're in Hong Kong and you live in those private estates, people will jump out from behind mailboxes. The cleaning lady will be cleaning the same spot for the entire time until you give her a lucky envelope. There'll be tons of other people you've never seen before. They'll frequently rotate their shifts. They'll see you from two blocks. They'll keep the door open for you to come and you are gonna get the best service of your life now but they are looking for that lucky envelope so we're gonna take you through the differences and the do's and don'ts of giving lucky money so let's get started so right in front of me there is a lot of money and let me tell you this is expectation and then this is reality and basically this is our auntie's money and this is our money and honestly, I'll insert some clips if I can of when I try to go to the bank. We are going to go to the bank right now and we are going to go get new money. The bank closes at 4.30 so it's like 3.59 so we gotta go. We ran out of the money already. They only had 100s, 500s and the thousands. Well, I wanted the 10, 20s and 50s. So he told me that I had to go back tomorrow and I had to be in the queue by 8 a.m. To go and line up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Oh my goodness. On the first day, I went at 4 p.m. and it was already sold out and the security guard told me to come back the next day at 9. I went back at 9.30, it was already sold out and he told me that go back on the third day at 8.30. <laughs> so I didn't go and I didn't exchange the money. So that's why what happened to us was we got these bills <laughs> that look totally wrinkled and looks like muay choy. You know, like shredded, dried cabbage. My auntie, on the other hand, she is a VIP client. She didn't have to wait in line and she just went to our personal banker. If you see my auntie's line of bills, you can see that they're completely straight. These ones are what they called old new money, meaning that it's not a new design, but it is new money. However, she has completely new notes and it's these ones. You can feel it. It's like completely different. It's so cool. So elders in Hong Kong, they believe a new year, a new you, a new money. So when you're giving out lucky envelopes, they want new money in the lucky envelopes. This is actually the controversial one. Let me show you. This is the one that has the Chinese opera at the back. It's a little bit freaky. It kind of looks like hell money. What's the number one rule about lucky money? Who gives and who receives? Number one rule, who gives and who receives? The number one easy rule is if you're married or not. If you're single, you receive. If you're married, you give. So, auntie, lei chuan zhao gei dao ya man Ah, so about 10,000 Hong Kong dollars. So, give or take, most people, if you have a lot of friends and family that you're gonna give, We'll be spending around, I would say, like 6,000 to 10,000 Hong Kong dollars for this festive time. What's the second rule? The second rule is if you are a manager or not at work. So if you are a manager and you have your own staff, you usually will give lucky envelope to all your subordinates. That's kind of like one of the things. It's nicer to be a, a manager that they like, right? Another thing is, and this one's kind of like um, not a hard or fast rule, but if you are an elder to a youngling, so if, say for example you have these nieces and nephews that you really like and you're like the cool, fun aunt or uncle, you might want to give them lucky envelopes as well because it's always fun because they give you greetings, you give them greetings, and then they get really happy when you give them lucky envelopes. And then so the last category as well also goes into that employer-employee relationship and those are the people who actually um, do a service for you and that's, that's basically your security guard or when we had a shuttle bus before it's the shuttle bus drivers, people that kind of work for you but not really. So we would give our security guards, the cleaning lady, the shuttle bus, the tea lady at the office, we would give all of these people lucky envelopes. 
I'm like, why are there no 50s? Oh, the ATM didn't have 50s. Okay. <laughs> you know, for someone that's doing a lucky money video, we, we seem very unprepared with our, uh, our own notes. But let me go through why there's 20, 50s, 100s, and 500s. And the reason why is because the person you give it to, your relation with them is different, right? So you want to give them a different denomination, which is why, as well, if you see, there's different lucky envelopes prepared. I just use the smallest ones for the smaller denominations and the bigger ones for the bigger denominations. And that's why these things have pockets. And you literally put them all over the inside pocket. Look, I've got one inside pocket here, one here, one here, one here. So I'm gonna put like the 20s here, the 50s here, and then closest to my heart would be the 500s, and then the 100s here. So you know exactly which pocket you're gonna draw from. And depending who comes to buy them, which is what you do when you say the lucky greetings, I'll give them a different denomination. So now I could like be like, oh, go ahead and chart. Oh, go ahead and chart. See? Very easy. So now when you're giving out lucky envelopes, you also have to figure out whether or not that person is close to you. If they know you and your partner, you give two because it's coming from both you and your hubby or your significant other. So you give it as two. The lucky envelope really honestly is about the spirit of giving, the spirit of someone coming to buying with you, wishing you good luck, good health, good fortune, good wealth, everything like that. When I used to work in an office, we used to go around the floor and then if we knew someone gave out a red one, we would go over purposely to buy lean and etc. It was all for good fun obviously. So the rule is you can receive and give out lucky envelopes up until the 15th of the first lunar month. So you have but two weeks or so to collect or to give. So happy Chinese New Year's. All right, so when you receive a lucky envelope or when you give out a lucky envelope, they will buy it, which means that you will exchange some lucky greetings and guess what? We've made a video on all the popular bilingual Chinese greetings, ranging from those that are elders to those that are kids to those that are business minded people. So you can go and check that video because I'll link it above. Now, one caveat I would say is don't give out 40 bucks or anything that has a denomination of four, like nothing that ends with four. No 40, no 400. Four is just a really bad number in Hong Kong. Um, so refrain from doing anything with four. However, if you're giving two lucky envelopes and each one has 20 bucks and it equals to 40, that's okay because it individually it's only 20. Don't put coins. Coins are really lame and tacky and no one gives coins. So after you stuff the lucky envelopes, you gotta make sure there are no empty ones. And the reason why is because it's really bad luck to receive an empty envelope. Now, if you like this video, please do like, subscribe, comment, do all those good things, and I'll see you in the next one. Once again, it's Virginia, Virginia Chan from Human with a Chance of Fishbowls. So, what's the weather like in Hong Kong? Well, it's humid with a chance of fishbowls. Till next time, Jagin. Oh wait, what what's wait, what's my beginning? <laughs> no, you <laughs>